Hey, what's up guys? Alex from Beyond the Real here and Mark and I have been trying out this new series of videos where we react to things and Zack Snyder's Justice League trailer, official trailer has just dropped today. So I'm gonna watch it. Uh, we'll see what happens. And honestly, I kind of did like the last teaser trailer that was uh, released. I thought it was interesting to say the least and you know we've made our thoughts known on the Snyder Cut that you know we're happy that Zack Snyder is just being able to make his movie that the movie he made or he has been working on is finally going to be released we're happy for him for that but we honestly don't think it's going to be this mind-blowing thing but uh who knows uh, at the same time this is just a trailer so we can't really take the quality of this and assume that the whole movie will be this quality whether it's good or bad because it's just try he's just trying to sell us a movie so let's get into it uh, we'll see what it's like and we'll see what happens okay it's the same shot Okay, this has gone on too long. <laughs> okay, so that's Jesse Eisenberg's speech at the end of BBS. I still don't like this design of Steppenwolf. I think it looks weird. I don't really think it looks that better. I like that shot of of black suit Superman shooting the eye lasers, heat vision, whatever. We live in a society where honor is a distant memory. Oh, is that gonna be the Joker? Okay, so they tease us with that Joker. Zack Snyder released a, a behind-the-scenes picture, but also in the last teaser, for a split second, you could see like a little Joker card at the very beginning shot of uh, the teaser, which is the nightmare sequence. Personally, I think he looks hilarious because I don't think he looks cool. But whatever. But he's back. I hope we get to see more of him because I I know this is not what it's about but I think it, it's unfair that he was put into a movie that he should not have been in and his part was very small and I don't feel we got enough of him to fairly judge him because he was in a terrible movie he he was not put in a good position so people call him like the worst Joker ever I I mean, I guess that's fair, but I don't think we got enough of him to fairly judge that character. So I hope he's a lot better in this movie than he was in Suicide Squad. But honestly, I don't know. This this trailer didn't sell me. I, I, I thought the last teaser was a lot more exciting. This one, this one didn't do it for me. 
and the the beginning I thought was real hilarious. Superman being impaled and, uh, and it sends a freaking shock away. <laughs> but whatever, you know, uh, I'm gonna still watch it regardless. And I don't know, I, I I really want this to work. I really do because you know I think that DC really need really needs a win, especially after all the misses they've had. So I think they really need a win and. You know, I hope this, I hope this is a home run. And I hate to sound this way, but I doubt it will be. But I, I just, I just hope it's a home run for them uh, financially. Uh, I know it's going to be put on HBO, so they're, but who knows, maybe it might get a physical release. Uh, I've heard a rumor about that ages ago, but I hope this is a home run, you know, for Zack Snyder's sake for dc's sake for hbo's sake and honestly if the last teaser kind of did make it feel like it was going to be like a more different movie but this one it's a lot of the stuff well not a lot but you see the similarities between the actual theatrical version that we saw so yeah i guess that kind of just shows you that you know that it was he claims that he had like this whole I mean it is a whole different version don't get me wrong but I don't feel that this I still don't fully believe that the Snyder could exist in because uh, he might have had like all this footage that we've been seeing that you know is new but it's still not like a full put together movie and that's what he's barely doing now so now this is a Snyder cut what we had what he claims he had before was not a Snyder cut but I feel that this is a Snyder cut and I'm just happy that you know he's as the creator he's able to put it out there so uh eventually when it's released uh you know Mark and I will review that for you guys and that's gonna be it I feel like I this is a lot longer than it should have been but thanks for hanging out this is Beyond the Real my name is Alex and I hope to see you soon so, you made it to the end of the video, but you know what? This does not have to be the end. You can continue to fight.